today I'm going to talk to you about a few new features in Microsoft Dynamics GP 2013. These are a few of my favorite features. The first thing that I want to talk about is a small change, but is a change welcomed by all users. In previous versions of Microsoft Dynamics GP, users could only print to the printer they had selected as their default printer. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to run a report from my reports area and generate that to the screen. In previous versions of Microsoft Dynamics GP, when I clicked the print button, I could only print to the printer I had set up as my default printer. This caused problems because people would have to print to different printers at different times. And so what they would have to do is they would have to close this report, come over to settings, and set up a new default printer. Then come back and regenerate the report. Microsoft has eliminated that need now, when you generate a report to screen and you click the print button, you are prompted with the ability to change which printer you want to print to at the time of print. A small change, but a welcome change for many users who print to different reports throughout the day. The next thing I'm going to talk to you about is Document Attach. This allows you to attach documents to different items in GP. You can attach them to customers, to vendors, to items, and to other things throughout the system. After setting up document attach, you can place documents in a specific folder and then you can come over to different areas in GP and you'll notice near the top right there is now a paperclip icon. If it's grayed out that just means that your system administrator has not enabled the feature. But if you can click on it, what it allows you to do is to open up the document attachment management window. From this window you can click on attach at the bottom and it will open up a folder that's been pre-assigned to have different files that you need to attach to GP. So I'm just going to attach an Excel spreadsheet I have here. It brings in the file name and if you expand it here you have the ability to type in a description it also keeps up with the time and date and user that attached it. And I'm going to say OK. As you can see now, our icon has changed and there is something attached to this vendor. I can open this up and I can take a look at it and I can even click on preview to actually preview the document that's been attached. This just happens to be a document I was working on for another video. The third feature that I'm going to go over in GP 2013 is the General Ledger Journal Entry Inquiry window. Many of you may know in the past you could come up to Inquiry, Financial, and Journal Entry to look up a journal entry. The problem is you can only look up journal entries in the current year. With GP 2013 they've actually added a fiscal year selection option here so you can decide on which year you actually want to look up a journal entry. So it can be for a previous year or it can be for a future year you have to clear out the journal entry before you select the new one. I can scroll down to my list now you can see that I have different years all listed here, not just the current year. This makes looking up journal entries a lot easier than it was previously when you only had the option to look up current year journal entries from this window. Of course you could always look up things via smart list, but this new inquiry window helps out for a lot of quick lookups. Okay. The next thing that I'm going to show you is the changes to the year end closing window. In previous versions of Dynamics GP, when users close the system, they often had questions about the processing. It can take a while to run, and the screen often looked like it hung at about 50%. In the new version of GP 2013, they have added a progress bar. And you can see it here, down at the bottom. You can see that they'll have a progress bar that'll update as you close the year so that you'll know where it is in the process of closing and if it's really hung or not. So for example I'm going to go ahead and close this year just so you can see the process. It shouldn't take long in my test company. 
At the bottom you can notice how it's going through the seven steps and the progress bar is letting us know that it's still continuing and then we get our typical year end closing report that I'm just going to send to screen. Again, a small feature, but a very welcome feature for people who handle year end closings because it reduces the confusion about whether or not the system is hung during the year end closing process. You can clearly see at which step it is in the process of closing the year. All right, the next thing that I am going to show you in Dynamics GP 2013 is reprinting check stubs. In the past, you did not have the ability to reprint a check stub, but with the new version of GP, when you do inquiry, I'm going to do purchasing and vendor. I'm just going to pull up a new vendor. Now, whenever I scroll down here and I pick a payment, and I click on the zoom to open up the document, you'll notice down here in the bottom right there is a recreate check stub button. This easily allows us to reprint the remittance for that check. Maybe a vendor lost the check stub, wasn't sure what was being applied to it. We can easily now reprint the check remittance and send it out to the vendor so they know the correct application of the check. If you have any questions or concerns about any of the other new features in Microsoft Dynamics GP 2013, please feel free to contact us at Intelligent Technologies.